Mind-boggling developments happening on the alliance front there today. Many permutations and combinations that are being discussed and talked about in a sort of uh, uh, musical chairs that's been happening in the RJD certainly tonight. Are these smaller parties though going to hold the key to government formation with both the Congress and the BJP? actively and keenly wooing them and wooing smaller allies. Joining us on the program tonight, advisor to Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, Pawan Verma joins us. Anwarul Haq, former member of parliament from the RJD joins us tonight. Also with us is Nawab Malik, spokesperson of the NCP, which is an ally of the UPA. Sudhan Trivedi, national spokesperson of the BJP and our commentator this evening, Aarti Jairat. Let me go to Anwarul Haq first. Uh, Anwarul Haq ji, हम हमें सबसे पहले बताइए कि हुआ क्या है क्योंकि सबसे पहले तो खबर ये आई कि तेरह एम जो हैं वो छोड़ के चले गए लेकिन अब खबर आ रही है कि उसमें पांच या छह एम वापस आ गए हैं तो सर आप पहले ये बताइए कि लेटेस्ट पोजीशन क्या है कितने लोग वापस आए मैं समझ रहा हूं कि ये पांच छह महीना पहले से नीतीश जी की षडयंत्र चल रही थी चूंकि उनकी सरकार गिरने, वा, गिरने वाली है और उनके पास बहुमत नहीं है इसलिए उन्होंने ऐसा षडयंत्र रचा था और जो कागजात पर सिग्नेचर करके दिया गया है तेरह आदमी का उसमें ग्यारह आदमी का जाली दस्तखत है फॉल्स है उदाहरण स्वरूप यहां से हमारे लीडर राष्ट्रीय जनता दल के राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष लालू प्रसाद ने सबों से बातचीत की सबों ने एक मत से इनकार ही नहीं किया बल्कि वो पार्टी ऑफिस में बहुत जल्द जल्द जो करीब में थे वो पटना पार्टी ऑफिस में आकर अभी भी बैठे हुए हैं जहां तक सात आदमी का और सवाल है ये लोग देहात में हैं और वो लोग निश्चित रूप से कल 11 बजे तक पटना पार्टी ऑफिस में पहुंच जाएंगे और 12 बजे से साढ़े बारह बजे से विधायक दल की मीटिंग है मुश्किल से अगर नहीं भी आना होगा तो एक सम्राट चौधरी जो भाई शकुनी चौधरी का लड़का जो शकुनी चौधरी हमेशा स्टेट गवर्नमेंट से लेके सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट एम से लेके एमपी तक हमारे राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष लालू प्रसाद यादव के साथ रहे उनका लड़का सम्राट चौधरी है उनको इसी बात की साथ तकलीफ है कि साहब हमको खगड़िया से एमपी में लड़ना था और मुझे ये टिकट इत्यादि नहीं मिल रहा तो अभी किसी तरह का कोई फैसला ही नहीं अनुरुल जी आप ये कह रहे हैं कि उनको छोड़ के बाकी सब लोग कल सुबह तक वापस आ जाएंगे ये आपका कहना है निश्चित रूप से एक हो, आ, हो आप सकता ये भी कि नीतीश कुमार का षडयंत्र है और इसमें 11 सिग्नेचर जो थे वो वो फोर्ज थे ये बहुत बड़ा इल्जाम लगाया आपने नहीं ये इल्जाम नहीं है ये तो सही है ना बिल्कुल नीतीश कुमार जी का षडयंत्र आज नहीं बहुत पहले से चल रहा था और आज हमारे लीडर लालू प्रसाद यादव दिल्ली में तमाम सेकुलर पर जमात को लेकर चलना चाहते थे और चुनाव लड़ने की तैयारी कर रहे थे इसमें उनको फील्ड खाली मिल गया तो सम्राट चौधरी को हेलीकॉप्टर पर बैठा करके उनके क्षेत्र खगड़िया में ले गए और दो चार कामों का शिलान्यास किए और उनको लोभ लालच दिया सम्राट चौधरी एक सिर्फ ऐसे एम एल है जो पीछे में वह हमारे पार्टी के दल के और लीडर के विरोध में बोल रहे हैं वैसा हमारी बातचीत हुई और आपने टीवी पर भी देखा उन्होंने कहा कि नहीं वो तो मुख्यमंत्री के नाते हम बोले गए थे लेकिन हम अपने पार्टी के राष्ट्रीय जनता दल के साथ थे जो आपने लेकिन जो आपने सवाल खड़े किए वो मैं आज ये जेडीयू के जो हमारे आज रिप्रेजेंटेटिव हैं उनके पास लेना चाहती हूँ पवन वर्मा इफ यू कुड आंसर द एलिगेशन देन दैट द आरजेडी इज मेकिंग टू नाइट दैट दिस इज अंस्पिरसी बाई नीतीश कुमार अनवर हक सेज दैट दिस वॉज ऑल प्री प्लान बाई नीतीश कुमार एंड हिज गवर्नमेंट What is happening in the RJD is an internal matter of the RJD party. Uh, the JDU to, to make an allegation against the JDU for what appears to be a fair degree of uh, negative churning within the RJD, for which the reasons it must analyze on its own. Who is leading it? With whom does it wish to form an alliance? Who has left it? what is its credibility what has been the governance record of its leader when he was in power for 15 years and drove bihar in under the ground these are matters of the rjd the most important point nidhi is that the voter should not be taken for a ride and if merely political machination and manipulation 
टूडे आफ्टर सो मेनी इलेक्शन इज द ओनली मीन्स टू अचीव सक्सेस इन पॉलिटिक्स इट्स अ क्राइंग शेम द जेडीयू हैज stands for and mr nitish kumar and this is verifiable at any bihar my, my question though is how come stands these mlas suddenly governance, decided to break politics, and join the jdu they said that they wanted to join the jdu to politics. no but why did it happen Sorry? now why why did it happen suddenly that these mlas wanted to break away and join the jdu did they suddenly realize that lalu yadav is a bad said, leader i have already said i have already said that what has happened in the rjd is for the rjd to handle but it is no secret that mr lalu yadav was convicted of all things for corruption and actually spent time in jail and is out on bail it is nobody then why no, have they gone back in the public realm please ask the rjd who is being bought back who is leaving what are they this is an internal matter of the rjd the no. jdu has never sought to ally with any party the jdu is fighting but the some of them went on, on record the to say that they were joining government. nitish kumar because he was the true secular leader i mean they actually they, no, they cited that, that i must say nidhi i must say that in all of this that certainly is a true statement that he is a tall and a secular leader now the, for other parties to reassess what is their role in other parties and to think of joining nitish kumar is their internal decision Mr Nitish Kumar is fighting the elections on the track record of his governance and on the issue of a plural India where all communities live okay. in coexistence Okay I, I I'm just harmony. going to go back to Anurul Haq uh, once more uh, Anurul Haq ji ye jo uh, aapne suna Pawan Verma jo keh rahe the wo keh rahe the ye aapka internal matter hai agar aapke log aapko chhod ke ja rahe hain wo isliye hai ki jo aapke neta hain Lalu Prasad Yadav wo uh, 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 he's tainted with corruption ye ek wo problem hai unki leadership ki problem hai lekin aap mujhe ye bataiye ki kya ye Lalu Prasad Yadav ko weaken nahi karta ki aise uh, log chhod ke chale gaye aur wapas aa gaye kyunki abhi wo seat sharing ki baat ho rahi hai नेशनल लेवल पे कांग्रेस के साथ क्या आपको नहीं लगता कांग्रेस पार्टी सोचेगी कि इनके साथ क्यों जाए नीतीश के साथ क्यों नहीं जाए मैं समझ रहा हूं कि इनका कहना बिल्कुल सरासर गलत बेबुनियाद है जहां तक लालू जी का सवाल है लालू यादव एक बहुत ही बड़े ताकतवर और कद्दावर लीडर हैं उनके कद्दावर पना और ताकत को देख करके नीतीश कुमार सहित बीजेपी सब घबरा रही है इसलिए लालू यादव के विरोध में तरह तरह का षडयंत्र रचा जा रहा है और इनके कहने में इनके कथनी और करनी में बहुत फर्क है मैं समझ रहा हूं कि जिस जिस तरह से मैं अपनी बात को आपके सामने कह रहा हूं उनको कहने का भी राइट है लेकिन दुनिया जानती है इस देश इस मुल्क की जनता जानती है कि लालू यादव सेकुलर है और सेकुलर पसंद है और आज भी सेकुलर जमातों के साथ है इनका इसका जवाब 2014 के चुनाव में जब रिजल्ट निकलेगा तो पता चलेगा कि बीजेपी और नीतीश कुमार किस तरह से जीरो पर चली गई I'm going to take this question though to the Congress next and to Randeep Singh Surjewala the national spokesman who person who joins us tonight from Chandigarh uh, Mr Surjewala how does the Congress view these developments today given that Lalu Prasad Yadav is a very important ally for you and especially in the upcoming elections there is a perception that this considerably weakens him and his bargaining power vis-a-vis the number of seats that he's negotiating with you Nidhi, let me clarify by by saying that uh, it is the Congress Party which supported the JDU government when BJP dumped them and left them in the lurch, and uh, we supported uh, the no confidence move. As far as defection of legislators from RJD is concerned, the so-called defection, since the situation is not clear. there are allegations on both sides from jdu and assertion by rjd leader that we just heard that their legislators are with them and on a matter of principle i only want to say that breaking parties by way of defection in violation of 42nd amendment is per se bad and two two statements of shri pawan verma are significant in this regard firstly when he says how many have been bought back does he want does he is he trying to signify that some were bought in the first instance if yes by whom that's your interpretation and are we going to indulge 
Sir, with due regards to you, I am not, I'm not remotely suggesting that JDU did so. But who bought these legislators, if at all they were bought? And is it not violation of the anti-defection law? Can legislators leave and come back in this fashion? Congress has been a strong opponent of horse trading of this nature right from beginning. And on and a matter so of we. principle, I feel that, that, that legislators should be, if anybody has to go from a party, he or she must resign first, seek a fresh mandate, and then they can go to any so, party. Mr. However, Sujewala, are you saying this was parties, a clear attempt the, to engineer a split? Are you saying that there was a clear attempt from outside to engineer a split? I mean, you're basically saying Nitish Kumar and the JDU without saying it. I'm not, uh, let's, let's be very clear, I'm not blaming Mr. Pawan Verma's party since facts are not in public realm as yet. By tomorrow, when uh, RJD holds its legislators meet, the facts will come out and we will know who, if any, tried to engineer a split whether there was any sale or purchase of legislators and whether, uh, if at all it is, then it's a clear-cut violation of the anti-defection law and anybody who wants to leave any political party, whether us or Mr. Verma's party or RJD or any other party, must first resign, seek a fresh mandate, that is the constitutional and the legal position in this country and Congress per se is against any kind of defection and horse trading but of But you are standing by Lalu Prasad Yadav. The Congress is standing by Lalu Yadav. Nidhi, you are putting words in my mouth. What happens to Mr. Lalu Yadav's <laughs> party? I am sure Lalu ji is a very seasoned, a very senior leader. He is capable of deciding for his party. And so is Nitish Babu, who is also a senior leader and a chief minister. Uh, Congress has nothing to do with this uh, so-called splitting of party. On a matter of principle, I only want to put on record that defection no, of the legislators point is, or Randeep horse Sujimala, the of point legislators is condemnable. Yeah, Pavan Verma wants to come in here, but the point, uh, Randeep Sujimala, what quickly, is your position? Quickly. Is the Congress going to stand with Lalu Yadav or not, no matter what? I mean, even if tomorrow seven legislators or eight legislators were to leave him, is the Congress still going to stand by him or is, is there going to be a rethink? I know I don't expect you to say that now on left, right and centre and announce some national policy here. But I'm still going to ask you that would there be a rethink on that or would you even consider the possibility of trying to wound Nitish Kumar? Nidhi, possibility of alliances are open in Bihar and Mr. Anthony's committee has been speaking on alliances. I am sure moment we take a decision we will inform. There is no question of ditching or standing by anybody. So far, Congress has not entered into any alliance. Yes, there are alliance talks on and they are at a very, uh, they, are, they are extremely serious. And moment we are able to seal an alliance, which we hope to do so shortly, then Mr. Anthony committee will announce that alliance. Okay, um, Mr. Pawan Mamra wants just to come in first but, and then I'll go to Sudhanshu, yes. <coughs> yeah, just a quick but. Uh, uh, I was surprised that Mr. Surjewala used the language that when the BJP dumped the JDU, I'm sure he knows on record that it was Mr. Nitish Kumar, and we don't use words like dump, who on, on grounds of principle said that the continued alliance with the BJP is not possible. Secondly, I'm glad he has spoken on principles, because I'm sure the Congress party, because of the high standards taken on corruption, will think very carefully about whom which allies with in Bihar, especially not the leader, the party whose leader has been convicted for corruption. But that again is an internal matter of the Congress party. And uh, what are your options then, uh, Mr. Verma? Uh, is, is the uh, 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 JDU totally close to the idea of tying sought, up with the Congress? Or we have will... never sought to yeah. make an alliance. We have, we have, I have said repeatedly, Nidhi, that the JDU has taken a principled stand. It has a remarkable track record of governance, which has been transformational for Bihar. It has benefited the weakest sections of the people, and it will go to the elections on its own track record. Okay, before I come to the question of Ram Vilas Paswan, I want to ask Anwarul Havji. Anwar Rakh Sahib, now you have heard that Congress ke Randeep Surjewala has said that where the question of alliance is of Bihar, all options are open in Bihar. Possibility of alliances is open in Bihar. There is no question of ditching anyone or standing by anyone. Iska matlab hai abhi Lalu Yadav ke saath kuch pakka nahi hai. 
मैं समझ रहा हूं कि मेरे मेरे जानकारी में हमारा कांग्रेस से तालमेल पुख्ता हो गया है और अगर वो कहते हैं तो साथ उनको इस बात की जानकारी नहीं है इसलिए कांग्रेस से तालमेल हमारा पुख्ता हो गया और अब फिर पुनः दोबारा किसी तरह की कहीं कोई बात नहीं होगी और हम लोगों ने फैसला कर लिया हमारे लीडर फैसला कर लिया है कि सेकुलर जमातों के साथ हम लड़ेंगे आज भी रामविलास पासवान आकर के लालू यादव से वो मुलाकात करें मिले तो निश्चित रूप से लालू यादव से अच्छी दोस्ती है रामविलास को दोनों मिल करके और जो 2014 के चुनाव में वो लड़ेंगे और बहुमत नहीं बल्कि 40 सीट पर कामयाब होकर के अभी तो पासवान जी कह रहे हैं कि मोदी के साथ भी जा सकते हैं अनवर हक जी क्या होगा नहीं नहीं पासवान पासवान जी ने यह बात नहीं कही है उन्होंने मना भी नहीं किया ना कि यहाँ सा नहीं आ, आप जा पासवान जी के बेटे ने कही आज से चार रोज पर चार रोज पहले शाह नवाज गए थे शाह नवाज को क्या पासवान जी ने जवाब दिया पासवान जी ने जवाब दिया कि रामविलास पासवान बीजेपी के साथ चला जाए यही किसी किताब में नहीं है और चिराग पासवान ने कहा कि हम पार्लियामेंट्री वोट के मेंबर हैं मैं नहीं चाहता हूं कि बीजेपी के साथ जाए हम एडजस्टमेंट सेकुलर जमातों के साथ करे, करेंगे बीजेपी के बारे में न तो रामविलास पासवान ने कहा न रामविलास के लड़का ने कहा उनके बेटे साथ ने ये कहा है कि उनको मोदी के साथ कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है क्योंकि उनको कोर्ट से क्लीन चिट मिला है लेकिन ये मैं सवाल अब बीजेपी के पास लेना चाहती हूँ सुधांशु त्रिवेदी ऑफ द बीजेपी एज यू लिसन टू दिस इंटायर थिंग वॉट इज द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ द बीजेपी एंड पासवान अलायंस कमिंग टूगेदर इज देर अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट दी एजेपी विल कम बैक टू दी एन डी ए फोल्ड एज इफ नाउ there is no such thing in which we can say that there is going to be an ljp and bjp alliance now come to the topic on which you are discussing the scenario which is emerging from your discussion is giving two indications number one how fragile fragmented and hollow is the foundation of so called secular parties second thing you are witnessing that the party which is in the government and the party which is a minor party in the opposition both are targeting the party which is the principal opposition party there uses to be a politics in which the party in the government is the target of all the parties but here is the party in the opposition is the target of all the parties it means bharti janta party has come in the center of bihar politics now the entire bihar politics has become bjp centric third inference is jdu if at all they are engaged in this type of defection though this is the internal matter of rjd and jdu but if at all they are involved in this it means they are smelling or they are apprehending their imminent defeat and disaster in lok sabha elections and subsequent danger to their government so in order to ensure their power for rest of the two years i think they are indulging in these type of activities in my opinion there are the just three conclusions of this entire episode of bihar so you are saying that this is a desperate attempt by the jdu to be re to remain relevant yes of course not remain relevant to also to avoid any perspective danger in the post election scenario to their government so they want to ensure their government remaining in power for the uh, remaining part of this lok sabha uh, sorry the remaining part of this bihar vidhan sabha Okay, Pavan Verma wants to respond, and then uh, I'll come to to RT and the NCP. Yes, Mr. Verma. No, no, uh, Nidhi. I think uh, Sudanshu ji sees everything in terms of the political arithmetic of power. Power alone. Nitish ji has said many times that he has taken a stand on an issue which he believes is important for the country, and even if his government has to go, it may. He is not in politics only for power. as regards the stability of the government as sudanshu ji knows uh, the B jdu has almost a near majority and we will leave it to see how it survives for the remaining term the question is that it is not that the jdu has become irrelevant i think the bjp is seriously concerned why there is a coalescing of forces which are opposed to the bjp and which is coming around mr nitish kumar although for reasons which are entirely the internal matters of those parties i am not saying that these people who have left will come back i am not saying that they will leave it's for the rjd to resolve this 
बट सर्टनली देर इज अ परसेप्शन दैट नीतीश कुमार स्टैंड एज अ बेस्टियन ऑफ गुड गवर्नेंस क्लीन पॉलिटिक्स एंड अ वॉइस फॉर द सैनिटी ऑफ प्लूरल एंड हारमोनियस इंडिया दैट इज ए स्ट्रेंथ ही मे लूज और ही मे विन but the, but you know the question is and i'll bring this to arti jairat that what does what what do the events of the last couple of days tell you about a what is going on in bihar and b the congress is handling or mishandling of of its own allies here i mean here is a party that should be desperately trying to stitch up alliances and make sure everyone's on board in the right way in the quickest way possible and you know they seem to be completely on the back foot here well you know didi i think uh, both the congress and the bjp are pretty desperate for alliances because as you have asked the main question you've asked in the debate is will the smaller parties hold the key to the formation of the next government and clearly the power lies with these regional parties and <clears throat> i mean of course the congress which is sinking desperately needs to shore itself up which is why it's trying to you know sort of pick up allies wherever they can as far as modi is concerned he needs allies for two reasons one is he needs legitimacy because after nitish broke the alliance in bihar somehow he seemed to become this untouchable figure so i think he wants to you know remove that uh, taint and prove that he is legitimate he can be touched and so on and secondly of course he will need numbers because you know the bjp is not going to get a majority on its own he will need numbers post elections and i think he would like to have you know a formidable alliance before the elections if possible so that uh, and he can be in, the nda the would be more system. significant because paswan left the nda on the rights issue absolutely so paswan will really wipe that stain clean because uh, you know paswan will restore that legitimacy that narendra modi is so desperately seeking so although i i'm told that the bihar unit of the bjp is pretty opposed to an alliance with uh, ramvilas paswan but i'm told that modi is driving it because he wants paswan i'm going to take board. that to sudhanshu trivedi uh, sudhanshu trivedi is is that what the real story is that getting paswan back into the nda would be a coup of sorts he left on the issue of the riots to have him come back would would really be a huge victory for mr modi personally i slightly defer to what arti jarad ji is saying actually it is happening across the barriers of society across the sections and across the political spectrum that the acceptability of sri narendra modi and the bjp leadership is gradually increasing and whatever statement has come from mr ramvilas paswan side is just an indicator of that if his son has said that modi ji has been given a clean chit by court i think this is a very significant improvement or you can say significant step towards the allegations which has been consistently blatantly politically motivated put up against sri narendra modi but this has not happened because of any effort from bjp or narendra modi it is happening in a natural way and if something crystallizes or something happens i in my opinion this is just again giving an indication that the entire politics of india is again giving a centric position to bjp under the leadership of sri narendra modi i i before i come to mr nawab malik who's been patiently so waiting i just have a quick question and, for randeep surjewala that mr surjewala isn't this a poor reflection then of the congress's management of its allies after all mr paswan is the one who's been saying he's been kept in the dark on what is going on as far as seat sharing is concerned now you have his son praising modi and the very real possibility that he may go back to the nda what does that tell you about your management of your allies can i quickly begin by saying that uh, sudhanshu ji was very seasoned he seems to see uh, you know an, an all encompassing wave for modi without realizing that the biggest ally was jdu which uh, left them uh, movement mr modi's name came up they've had an uncomfortable relationship with shiv, shiv, shiv sena and minus these two allies where is the so called nda under mr modi and despite his desperate efforts to pick up an ally here or there so far bjp has not succeeded because mr modi per se is, is a divisive figure who has uh, uh, led to almost usurpation of the entire collective leadership of the bharatiya janata party as far as congress party goes nidhi uh, we we have stitched our alliances it's just a matter of announcement and that is why i said maybe tv program is not the best place to announce alliances but our alliances are firm we have spoken to our allies uh, it was similarly being said for ncp 
but Mr. Pawar has gone ahead and clarified it. An NCP Congress alliance is firm. You will find a similar alliances taking place over next 10 days in almost all states and none of Congress allies have dumped uh, the Congress party like Bharatiya Janata Party allies have walked out. Mr. Surjewala, you Zemo's have projected. lost all so your allies. Se project. Mr. Surjewala, you like the BJP, you are also left with just one or two allies. Mamta <laughs> Banerjee walked out, DMK has walked out. What does the UPA consist of? I just yes, and I want I want to just take that to to your friends uh, uh, at least at the NCP for instance. Nawab Malik, do you believe that the Congress is on the back foot as far as its uh, its relationship with his allies is concerned today? The, your party, the NCP, has played hardball with them. Do you believe that they can't have that big brother attitude anymore? Now see, it is a responsibility of the Congress party to keep their alliances intact. It's true that we are the part of UPA, we are in alliance with the Congress party, but it's true, many of the alliance forces have been left the UPA. It is Congress party responsibility to make intact, join, some people are want to join the alliance, they should invite them, discuss the issue and declare. Mr. Lalu Prasad Yadav is a valuable alliance of the UPA in 2004, he was with us, in 2009 he was not with us, now it's a time that we should take him with us and we should confirm and announce that we are going to ally with Lalu Prasad ji in Bihar, in Jharkhand, we have to announce who are there and we have to make effort to make some new part forces or new partners. But do you in think that the world. Congress is doing that well? Do you think that the Congress is able to do that? Is I, it handling I its think, allies I well? Think, I think, see I think some day back that situation was different. Now they had make up their mind. Mr. Anthony has given a responsibility to discuss the uh, new alliances or the people who were earlier with the Congress party. I think uh, no time they will announce the, whom they are going to ally with. I think they will make some decision as early as possible. Okay, let me, let me take that to Gaurav Bhatia. Gaurav Bhatia, how does the SP feel about the Congress's management or mismanagement of its allies? I'm sure you have a few strong things to say. Nidhi, I think it cannot be doubted that uh, the regional parties will play a very crucial role in the forthcoming elections. Having said that, I would say that at least for the UPA too, they have been just uh, not treating the regional parties and their allies with respect. The approach that they have towards regional parties is that when they need support, when there is a crucial bill to be passed, then they will approach a party and then they will ask for their support. Rather, I think, you know, they should try to win the trust of these parties and their allies on the basis of their ideology, on the basis of the issues that they are raising. And they should have deliberations with these regional parties, which has been completely missing in the UPA2 regime. We have seen the food security bill and how it was pushed down uh, by the UPA without even consulting their allies, leave alone the regional parties. This is not a healthy sign for democracy. And one thing is for sure that this election, the big brother role would be played by the regional parties rather than the national parties who we are talking about. So there would be a role reversal and then probably they would get a befitting reply and there would be some lessons to be learned by them. But do you believe there is, as the BJP also says, this natural wave that is now in sur a surge in favor of Mr. Modi that people like Paswan and others are naturally now coming forward to ally with Modi because there's no stopping him? I think we are uh, underestimating the IQ of the common man. Uh, if Secularism yes, is to be deleted from the constitution, then for sure Mr. Modi would be leading from the front. But there are too many people who can probably see the inner uh, uh, reflection and thinking of the BJP. And I'm sure that this young India would never go for a leader who has tarnished his image in the past, who has credentials that are doubtful. and on many tests. It's not only about development, it's also about secularism, it's also about inclusive growth, it's also about ability to keep the nation together where he's completely lacking and therefore I am sure 
that's the reason why regional parties would be voted and would be given maximum number of uh, seats in, in the Lok Sabha elections. But Sudhanshu Trivedi, yes, I know you wanted to come in there, but Sudhanshu, what you just heard Gaurav Bhatia saying is actually symptomatic of what other regional parties may also be thinking. Mamta Banerjee has called the BJP a party of rioters the other day, virtually ruling out an alliance because of Narendra Modi. So as much as the UPA has its problems, and, and the Congress certainly does, so do you, as Aarti was also saying earlier. First, I would like to give you an example. If you look at the last Lok Sabha election in 2009, Congress was the biggest party with 206 seats. BJP was the number two party with 116 seats. Who was the number three party? All other parties were 20 plus minus one. And moreover, those political parties who allied with either Congress or BJP, means either the part of NDA or the part of UPA, have done much better than what was expected as JDU in Bihar and Mamta Banerjee in Bengal. And compared to those parties who tried to go on own on the pattern of so-called third front, have fared very badly, like BSP in Uttar Pradesh and Third Front. So, in my opinion, what Mr. Gaurav Bhatia is saying, the, the common Mr. voter Sabai is intelligent Sabai. enough. And even in the any recently concluded Vidhan Sabha election in any of the state in the last four, five, six years, you see, those who were not the serious contender to form the government were being virtually wiped out. So, we suffered in Uttar Let's Pradesh. Talk about so, in my Not opinion, the government Kamal 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 to power. Let me complete one thing. The people of India are intelligent enough that who is contesting to form the government and a strong decisive government and who is just going to have trying to get uh, some support from people in order to destabilize a fragile government and create a mess for India as RBI governor Mr. Raghuram Rajan has said that if a strong government doesn't come in the near future in the next election then it will be a very serious grave situation for Indian economy. Well, uh, if Pavan Ramana wants to come in on that, yes, Mr. Verma. Can I just respond? No. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I just yeah. want to say quickly. Yeah. I just want to say quickly. I'm intrigued by this word strong government. What is a strong government? A strong government which is certainly not based on the support of all Hindus and which is formed on the permanent alienation of the vast my, my, uh, number of people who are from other communities. A, a strong government which is based on propaganda, projection and huge amounts of money spent on canvassing. That is not strong. India is strong if all Indians are strong. If we can form an inclusive government with a plural, with a plural vision, that is the strength of India. It is wrong to say that good governance is the monopoly of a unidimensional party which claims strength because it excludes other people. Yes, Secondly, we want yes, to have okay, a strong okay. government. I say, I, maybe I by projection, but it's uh, not uh, by defection. Uh, no, no, but I, I think Pawan the point Pawan 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 is that it's, it's, not, it's not like every every regional party is naturally running towards Modi. They may be running away from the Congress, but maybe. there are many parties who are also you know wary because of Mr. Modi. Yes, Gaurav. Quick last words from everyone. Mr. Mr. Pawan Varma very eloquently put forward the point that I also wish to reiterate. That uh, we talk about development. But development cannot mean that, you know, there is exclusiveness. Development cannot mean that people who are in the minority, who are a sizable population of 25 crore, feel that they are not safe under the government. Well, right and now, that's again, how you know, they're feeling a, under your government in UP, unfortunately. Exactly. The same minority. I, I think the Lok Sabha elections... Lok Sabha elections would give you an answer to Nidhi. Let's wait for that election. We have done a lot of development work which would be evident by the number of seats that we get in UP. And one example I would like to just share with everybody that when it was the UP assembly election, there is a population of 3.7 crores minority in UP. The BJP fielded one candidate out of 404. When it came to Gujarat, there was no candidate from the minority community. When it come, came to the other four states that have gone to elections recently, out of the 630 seats, there were only five from the minority community when they have a sizable population in those states. Is this what Narendra Modi calls uh, development of the entire okay. nation? Okay, Is last this comments. The Nawab Malik, path yes. towards growth when you exclude them? Yes, Mr. Malik. Since, since last 25 years, we are in coalition era. There is no single party government in the country, Mr. Sudhanshu. You are misleading the country. You said we want a strong government. That doesn't mean a single party government. A strong government can be an alliance government. Uh, since 25 years, we are here in the India.
coalition era, it would be any alliance. But it doesn't matter that the BJP will give a strong government, other parties can give, UPN can give, we must accept it. Okay, I'm completely out of time. Aarti, quick last word. Uh, how do you see the Bihar story playing out and how crucial is it going to be uh, in the run-up to the Lok Sabha polls? Because everything hinges on UP and Bihar. Absolutely. Two key battlefields in these elections, UP and Bihar, because this is where Narendra Modi has to score big if he wants to be the next Prime Minister. So I think alliances will, will actually determine and shape the outcome of uh, the polls, the, the results. Yeah. All right, I have to leave it at that. Thank you very much to all of you for coming in this evening. When we come back after the break, we're going to talk about uh, the mother of all allies, many would say, J. Jaya Lalita. It was her 66th birthday today, and there was an incredible cake that she was presented with, among other things. We'll talk about that when we come back. Left, right.